as March neared to an end. I had no idea the world that I knew in its present form would end. None of us did. We were all locked in our own daily lives, meeting friends, working, visiting restaurants and listening to bands. We were warned, but we didn't listen. Some speculated the plague was caused by bats. Others speculated it was made in a Chinese lab. I didn't know, but I thought maybe it was created to bring in the New World Order. David Icke thought it was. Some days I didn't mind sitting at home in my bubble with my cat. I had my computer. I enjoyed playing my guitar. There was plenty of live entertainment. Usually one of my friends would post something to look at and someone else would ring me up on the phone. I had noticed though, since the lockdown, that my internet speed was slowing down with so many people on the net since we were all home. Some people had speculated if 5G was being installed while we were all under lockdown. On the days that I felt anxious and a little down, I turned to the television to listen to the heartfelt messages from Comrade Jacinda of Reassurance. It was at night that the city became its ugliest to me. Usually a buzz with people's chat and laughter, the streets were deserted. No cars, just an eerie shining moon. My neighbourhood was like a ghost town. We were the citizens. I hoped they had not succumbed to the plague. We had to wear masks and goggles when we left the house so as not to catch this dreadful thing. We had been told it enters through the eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Some reports had stated that one sneeze could travel 27 metres. I had my routine down pat. After entering the house, I would remove my clothing, wash my hands thoroughly for at least five minutes. I had had so many friends posting me messages on social media, telling me about how to wash my hands, that I had absolutely no idea how incapable they all must have thought that I was. I suppose anxiety brings out the worst in us. Like that terrible feeling when you know you're up to your last toilet roll. And the relief when you discover the secret stash that you had before lockdown had begun. The amount of food that I seem to be consuming every day and the amount of alcohol that I keep taking to calm my nerves is unnerving in itself. At the end of the day, I flick over another page of my book of George Orwell's 1984 and I breathe a sigh of relief. Perhaps the plague is not that bad after all. Big Brother will get us through. All I need to do is trust in my great leader and stay home.